world championship of Cornu, Chuck Chuck. It's a huge crowd tonight at the Garden Arena. I don't think we've seen each other since last year's competition, have we? Great competition last year, but this year has proven to be even a better one. But now, we are watching the last contestant of last year's runner-up, and if he can just do this, if he can just dip that cutting into the Clonex gel shot and get it into one of those root right plugs, I think he'll be this year's winner. That's right. And you know, Chuck Chuck, his times have been real fast this year. He's on pace to set a new world record. But let's not forget last year when he accidentally dipped that cutting into the Clonex jar instead of the shot glass full of Clonex. That cost him the oh, win. Yes, it did. I do remember that. Clonex is only about $20 a bottle, and it will stay good in the fridge for a year. So always pour whatever you're going to use in a little shot glass or something similar to a shot glass. You don't want to dip that cutting directly into the bottle as that could cross-contaminate back into the bottle. That's right, and that $20 100 milliliter bottle of Clonex was enough for about 400 cuttings. 400 cuttings? That's incredible. Don't forget, Clonex has rooted more than 1 billion cuttings too, so far. No other brand can say that. Wait, wait, wait. Looks like Big G is getting ready. Yes, he is. He's stepping up to the table. He's giving his equipment one final look over. Oh, wait. He's stepping away from the table now. He looks nervous. Boy, Jason, does he look nervous. Okay, he's stepping back up to the table now. He looks very serious. Wait, wait, wait. He's stepping back from the table. What's going on here? He looks nervous, but we've seen this before. It could be strategy. Let's go to a commercial break while we wait to see what Big G does. Hi, I'm the Grow Boss. I write the Grow Book and Equipment Guide, and if you've been watching the World Championships of Cloning, you might have some questions. The Grow Book has answers. You can buy it at your local store, or eBay, Amazon, or my website, thegrowboss.com. Go Big G, back to you Chuck Chuck. Okay, we're back from commercial, and a lot's happened. So let's catch you up. One competitor broke the stem trying to push too soft a cutting into a Root Riot starter plug. And another contestant pushed the cutting straight out the bottom of that Root Riot plug. And two more were caught spiking the Clonex gel. And for those of you that don't know, spiking is adding water to your Clonex gel to try and thin it out. That's right. Clonex gel is thick on purpose. It's what keeps it stuck to the cutting when you slide it into the Root Riot starter plug. And it's the little things like that that really separate Clonex rooting gels from the competition. Okay, he's stepping back up to the table, but remember, his time doesn't start until he touches something. And this is going to happen so fast, so we're gonna watch it in real time, and then we're gonna break it down in super slow motion later. And he's off. He grabbed the empty cup first. Is he writing the strain name on it? He's got the scalpel. He's taking a cutting. Wow, that was fast. He's pouring the gel. This is always takes time because Clonex gel is so thick. A quick haircut and a trim, and it's into the Clonex gel. And now it's into the starter plug, and oh, it's in the hole. It's in the hole. It's a come behind Cinderella story. It's in the growth plug. Oh my God, Chuck Chuck, we may have just witnessed a new world record. We may have, Jason. That was unbelievably fast. It was perfect, and we just may have witnessed a new world record. Okay, while the judges are reviewing the footage, Let's slow down and break down that entire thing. Let's examine the moves that won in this competition and maybe a new world record. Okay, you can see he looks pretty nervous. So nervous, in fact, that he steps away from the table. This is completely reasonable, as everybody seems very nervous about taking cuttings. That's true. Clones have a high failure rate, especially if the plants they were taken from were less than healthy. Okay, now, this is the second time he stepped up, and this is where he breaks from tradition and picks up the pen. The clock starts, and he writes the strain on the cup first instead of pouring the Clonex gel into the shot glass. That is a break from tradition. Most people pour the Clonex cloning gel first because after all, this is the Clonex World Championship yes. of cloning. He really must want that win to be so far ahead and still break with tradition. And now he's going to take the cutting before pouring the Clonex gel into the shot glass. That's incredible. Oh, that was incredible. But look how decisively and confidently he took the top growth shoot. With precision like that, you know he already had it picked out. Must have. Because as you know, cutting selection is super important. If you've got a healthy plant, the best thing you could do is take the top tops. And this is a very smart strategy, and it may just take this thing that gets Big G into the record books this year. Something as simple as taking the correct cutting can make all the difference in the world in this game. Especially if your plants are less than healthy. If they're less than healthy, then perhaps you should be maybe looking a little lower down to the woodsy, stronger cuttings that'll last the extra week or two they need until they root. And he's got the cutting in the water now. Jason, I can't tell you 
how many people come into the store and ask how long it should take for their cuttings to root because everybody on the internet gets their roots in five days but it's been like 10 days for me. What's going on here? That's right, Chuck Chuck. A healthy cutting will root into your hand. Clonex cloning gel just speeds up the natural process it takes for root buds to start, sometimes by as much as half. And now we can see why he waited to pour the Clonex gel. He wanted to do it while the cutting soaked for the mandatory five second soak time. Smart strategy. That was smart, and that gel is thick, and you can see how tempting it would be to risk a disqualification by adding a little water to that Clonex gel. Look how thick that gel is, and look how long it's taking to pour. Wow! That is thick gel, and he's got the cutting out of the water now. He's pulling off the lower leaves, making sure to leave a few at the top. Not too many, though. That's right. You don't want a lot of leaf surface, or that little cutting with no roots will quickly dehydrate and die. That's why you keep them under a humidity dome. He's trimming its overall size down to about six inches now. Oh, this is where he goes old school and decides to trim it at a 45 degree angle. Everybody thinks that 45 degree angle is so important, but the truth is, leave that cutting in that Root Riot starter plug for a few more weeks and it'll root two inches up and all the way around. An important tip here. Notice he is keeping the part of the plant with the stem and the grow shoot and discarding the leaves. Now, it doesn't happen too often, but occasionally someone will come into the store and ask when their plant is going to start growing because they have three feet of root. I get asked that very same question from time to time, and it's because they rooted a leaf. Then I have to explain how every cell in a plant cell is a stem cell and can change into any other cell on the plant, including a root bud. That's right, a lethal root, but without a growth shoot, it can't grow anywhere. And look how thick that gel is. And that's exactly why the cutting only has to stay in there for a mandatory three seconds. Because you can be sure that gel that thick will still be there when pushed into the root riot plug. Unless you're in hydro. That's right, unless you're in hydro. If you're in hydro, you should leave it in there for up to 60 seconds. Really? Yes. Give the magic a minute to work because the water is going to rinse it off and the cutting is in the Root Riot plug, this competition is over. It does look like Big G may very well have set a new world record. Wait a minute, I'm just getting this in. We will know for sure after this message, so stay tuned. Hey, I'm the Grow Boss, and I just wanted to wish Big G good luck on taking the world record at the Clonex World Championship of Cloning. If you have any questions about cloning, you can pick up my 90 fat cards at your local hydroponics store, eBay, Amazon, or my website, Good luck on taking the world record, Big G, and go Clonex. Okay, we are back with the final result of Big G's attempt to set a new world record for the fastest human cloner. They should be coming through any time now. This is very exciting, Chuck Chuck. I want you to tell me that I was there when it happened, when Big G set the world record for the fastest cloning time ever. I'm overwhelmed by the moment. Speechless. Speechless. Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. But this is an amazing moment for Big G and Clonex cloning gel. Even if the record hasn't been set, it is official that Big G has won. Wait, wait, I'm getting word right now that Big G has set the world record for the fastest human cloner. Not only are they the best cloning gel in the history of forever, not only have they rooted more than one billion cuttings, but now Clonex and Big G have set the world record. Unbelievable! Clonex cloning gel. I always knew it was the best, but now everybody knows it. Clonex cloning gel. Go to your local store today and buy some, and your cuttings will be rooted by next week. I'm the Grow Boss. And I'm Chuck Chuck. And this is the world's fastest cloning competition. Where Clonex has just won. Go Clonex! And go Hydrodynamics! Hydro